Hello everyone, wherever you are, here's Math Everywhere channel. I would love to show you how to graph rational functions. Rational functions are all the functions that have fraction and x down in the denominator. That's all. You need to see a fraction and x down. So x over 3 is not a rational function. 1 over x is a rational function. Anything, any fraction that has x down is a rational function. To draw it, there are three cases. You need to start with case 1. Case 1 is there when the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator. So it will look like that, for example fx equals 1 over x plus 2 here you don't have x up that means there was x but to the power 0 so any number to the power 0 is 1 so degree up is 0 degree down is 1 so degree up is less than degree down so this is case 1 so delete x you need to check in step one, the vertical asymptote, step two, horizontal asymptote, step three, helping points, step four is graphing. So let's go for step one. To find vertical asymptotes, you need to solve the denominator equals to zero. So always do that. So x will be negative two. This is the vertical asymptote. For horizontal asymptote, it should be starting with y equals a number. Since the degree up is less than the degree down, always the horizontal asymptote here is y equals to zero so y equals to zero always you do that always now step number three is helping points these points will help you go to the vertical asymptote you have x equals negative two so choose two numbers one before it and one after it now go to the calculator write this function on the calculator but instead of x open parentheses now start substituting each x with negative 3 so 1 over negative 1 is negative 1 now substitute each x with negative 1 negative 1 plus 2 is 1 so 1 over 1 is 1 so these helping points will tell me where my graph should be now x and y where are the asymptotes i have x equals to negative 2 so this is x, negative 2 is here. So this is the horizontal asymptote. And the other one, y equals to 0, so it's here. So here I have two asymptotes. So either my graph will be here and here or here and here. The helping points will help me. I have x negative 3 y negative 1 so negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 this x is negative 3 y is negative 1 here so here that means the graph will be in this part asymptotes will never touch the graph remember that so the other part will be opposite of it x negative 1 y is 1 x is negative 1 y is 1 so here so the graph will be in this part that's all about case one it's very easy it has always y equals to zero i'll go for one more example fx equals to x minus three over x power two minus seven x plus ten so what is the highest power of one what is the highest power down two so degree up is one degree down is two so degree up is less than degree down this is case one Step one, I will start with vertical asymptotes. How to find them? Solve down equals to zero. Some product, because A is one. What are the two numbers that if I add them, I will get negative seven, and if I multiply them, I will get 10. The numbers are negative two and negative five. So either x minus two equals to zero, so x will be two, this is the vertical asymptote number one, or, x minus 5 equals to 0, x will be 5. This is the second vertical asymptote. So I have two vertical asymptotes here, you need to be careful. Now horizontal asymptotes. Remember in case 1, always since the degree of less than the degree down, the horizontal asymptote y equals 0. All 
with you do that. Now helping points. X, Y. Here I will choose four helping points. Why? Because I have two vertical asymptotes. Choose the first one, number two. X is two. Choose two numbers before it and after it. And five. Choose two numbers before it and after it. Now, I will substitute these numbers here in the equation. So you pick up your calculator, write it as it is, instead of each x you put parentheses as it is. See? Now fill in the blanks. Instead of each x, I will put 1. So 1 minus 3 is negative 2. 1 minus 7 is negative 6. Plus 10 is 4. So negative 2 over 4, which is negative 0 0.5. Now I will put 3, change it in the calculator. 3 minus 3 is 0, 0 divided by any number will be 0. Now I will put 4. 4 minus 3 is 1, 16 plus 10, 26, minus 28, which is negative 2. So 1 divided by negative 2 is negative 0 0.5. Now I will put 6. 6 minus 3 is 3, 36 plus 10, 46, minus 42, 4, 3 over 4, which is 0 0.75. Now I'm done with the helping points. Now graphing. Ready? I will start with x axis and y axis. Now, ascentos. I have x equals 2, x is 2, then I have x is 5, 3, 4, 5 here. I have two vertical asymptotes, be careful. Now the horizontal asymptote, y equals to 0. This is y axis, this is 0, so this one. It's the same as x-axis. So my graph will be here somewhere, maybe here, 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 I don't know. The helping points will help me. x1, y negative 0 0.5. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. x1, y negative 0 0.5, which is the same as negative 1, so negative 0 0.5 is here. That means my graph will be here. Remember, the asymptote shouldn't intersect or touch the graph. x is 3, y is 0. This is very easy, which is here. x is 3, y is 0. x4, y negative 0 0.5. So x4, y negative half, which is here. So it will be between these two asymptotes. So close to this asymptote and very close to this asymptote. Be very careful. It's not parallel. It should be very close to the asymptote. Be careful here in this area. So now I have x6, y 0 0.75. x6 here, y 0 0.75 here. So it's in this part. So 1, 2, 3. This is case number one. Go ahead and graph the coming functions. That's all about case number one. It's very easy.